Hello friends, it's Thor Diecow once again talking at you. It's this week on Blu-ray and DVD. It's been a while. Did you miss me? Well, I missed all of you, certainly. We've got four titles to talk about. We start with the, what should have been a comedy sequel smash sensation uh, and it ended up being a forgettable mess. Zoolander 2, of course, we're talking about. Now, we remember the first one. It came out in 2001. Part of the problem, I think, with this one is that they waited far too long to take us back down memory lane. But in this new version, uh, Penelope Cruz plays an Interpol agent who learns that a deadly plot to kill celebrities lies, well, the plot, the key to it lies with Derek Zoolander and Hansel, played, of course, once again here by Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson. Will Ferrell's in on the action as well. Uh, they must re return to the world of high fashion, reclaim their fame, and the only thing standing in their way, criminal mastermind Mugatu, played by Ferrell, and his evil fashion protege, played by Kristen Wiig, who did a great job in this film. Unfortunately, the story got really held back with some terrible gags. They had this whole kind of reconnecting with son, uh, with his son kind of story, which just didn't work. So it was a very anticipated sequel. And there were months of marketing, the, the barrage of images and campaigns for this movie. Uh, it was sure to be a hit, but unfortunately, it just did not connect with major audiences. Uh, but there you go. You can get the Magnum Edition for the Blu-ray, DVD, and combo pack. You do have some interesting behind-the-scenes featurettes. One where um, they take you on location in Rome. Ben Stiller discussing the legacy along with the uh, cast of uh, the Zoolander film. And a very funny uh, featurette with uh, Kristen Wiig's character introducing her revolutionary beauty product called Youth Mill. She was great in the movie. Unfortunately, the story and some of the tiresome gags just couldn't hold it together and justify yet another adventure with these great characters. So my, my uh, advice, just go back and watch the first one. All right, we're talking High Seas Adventure in the Finest Hours, a survival drama based on a true story. This is a heroic action thriller led by Chris Pine and Casey Affleck. Love this one coming to us from Disney, and this represents sort of an old school throwback film with a heavy reliance on visual effects, as you can see here, but uh, they all looked very good. So some stellar work here from the Digital Wizards and as well as the actors who really sell the story. Basically what happened, uh, in Cape Cod in 1952, a winter storm ripped an oil tanker in half, leaving 30 sailors inside the rapidly sinking stern. So word of the disaster got to the U.S. Coast Guard. Four men, led by Captain Bernie Weber, played by Chris Pine, set out on a 12-seat boat, a daring rescue mission to get those stranded men braving freezing cold 60-foot waves and hurricane force winds. Now, it all comes down to the dramatic uh, rescue mission, and it is amazing. And also, I liked how the movie um, uh, balanced between the story of the men trying to survive on the ocean in this ripped oil tanker and the whole motivation for Chris Pine's character going out there leading this mission when everyone was telling him it's too dangerous you're not going to come back uh, perseverance paid off and uh, yeah just a great old-school uh, thriller and uh, really enjoyed this one uh, for the um, you know the, the, the daring true life story kind of a heroic action thriller crowd so this one I really dug and there are some great bonus features as well all right we're switching gears now talking romantic comedy this was another disaster how to be single and you've got a great cast here with Dakota Johnson, Rebel Wilson, Damon Wayans Jr., Allison Brie, and Leslie Mann. Unfortunately, they cannot save this cliche-ridden trope fest. Um, basically about a bunch of unlikable people uh, learning that all they have in common is uh, they learn how to be single in a world filled with ever-evolving definitions of love sleeping around in the city that never sleeps was never so much fun. That's what the tagline promises. Unfortunately, oh Dakota Jan Johnson just can't um, ride the momentum of this thing and carry it. And Rebel Wilson is uh, forced to endure the same typical tired physical gags that she always is uh, sort of reduced to in movies these days. So a great cast can't save this one. Uh, the special features include the pros and cons of how to be single, Rebel Rabble, a look at Rebel Wilson, and the best idea wins, the humor of how to be single. Gotta be honest though, I didn't see the humor in this one. All right, we'll leave you with a biblical epic, Risen, starring Joseph Fiennes, along with Tom Felton and Cliff Curtis. Now, this tells the story. It's a faith-based drama of Clavius, a powerful Roman military tribune, and his aide, and they are tasked with disproving the rumors of a risen Messiah in the weeks following the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Interesting film here. If you like uh, historical epics, uh, you know, keep in mind this isn't obviously um, to be 
taken all that literal because uh, there are many um, sort of, um, yeah, they take some liberties with the history, of course, and it is a biblical epic, but it's still compelling and really well acted from Joseph Fiennes and got some great production design as well. So it looks gorgeous and it was well intentioned and well acted as well. And the uh, Blu-ray DVD and digital format includes uh, three featurettes in the mystery of the resurrection, making risen uh, along with others that look at the production design and uh, the crew detailing the making of this compelling film. So there you go, Risen. Get it now on Blu-ray, DVD, and combo pack. Check out those bonus features. Nice to see Tom Felton doing something else other than Harry Potter now that uh, that franchise is uh, done for the time being. All right, there you go, people. I am Thor Dykow. That's it for this week on Blu-ray and DVD. Check me out on Twitter. There you go. Let me know about these titles. We'll see you next week on breakfasttelevision.ca.